Uh, we were just arriving from Dahlonega. First stop of the day was in Dahlonega. Um, what were you doing up there? Yeah, just uh, meet voters, uh, get our message out. You know, this is, uh, we've, we've called this the My Pitch Bus Tour. Uh, obviously, I'm a former baseball player, and so the, this is my pitch, right? My pitch to talk about being the outsider in the state of Georgia, running for lieutenant governor. And, uh, you know, I think it's, it's, it's my perspective, my background that puts me in that position. Yeah, and so in the last couple of weeks running up to the election, what are you trying to, what is the, like, the final message you're trying to convey to the voters? Yeah, I think it's a policy over politics, right? I want to be a leader in the state that understands the importance of policy over politics. If we're going to solve the big issues in every community in this state, we're going to do it by talking about policy and making decisions based on policy, not playing backroom petty politics, not worried about who went to whose fundraiser or, you know, who endorsed somebody in the newspaper. We're going to, we're going to worry about, is it, does it make sense for Georgians, right? Are we going to improve education, cut taxes, improve transportation? If we're going to do those things, it's going to be in the policy discussion. Um, and why, why to you is, or like, why is Athens such an important um, political city for the state of Georgia, to win the state of Georgia? What, what makes Athens um, important to you? Yeah, I, I think it's more than just a political center. I think it's an economic center. Uh, obviously, you've got the UGA here, and, and there's a lot of roots here, but I think the economic viability of, of this community and the surrounding areas is something that's a big influence in Georgia, right? If we're talking about manufacturing, if we're talking about technology, economic growth, I mean, I see this as an Know, the continued growth of an incubator environment to allow companies to come here and find great talent and you know really be part of a workforce development effort moving forward. Um, and, and you being a Georgia Tech man, so how does it feel coming to you know UGA and trying to win over this team? Well, it feels great. I think this this started with a few months ago getting the endorsement of Barbara Dooley, mm -hmm. uh, which was a big part of you know it's a great opportunity. I got to sit on her couch and sit and talk to her and Vince and, and just you know, I think my statement was I might be the first Yellow Jacket to ever sit on your couch and ask you <laughs> to play on my team. But you know, look, this is this has been a great a great place to. When I was pitching at Georgia Tech, I used to love to come up here and, and pitch and play. And obviously, it's a great in-state rivalry and, and uh, it's a beautiful place. Um, and do you? see any challenges of winning over Athens, it's seeing that it's like primarily a, like a um, Democrat city? Yeah, so my strategy is, and I think this is a broader strategy for, for the Republican Party moving forward, uh, we need to continue to solve people's problems, we need to continue to better educate their kids, lower their taxes, uh, you know, help them help their, their commutes. If we do that and we solve their problems, then those folks that maybe aren't with us on every issue look at us as problem solvers. And as Lieutenant Governor, I want to do that. I want to lead the charge of solving people's problems. And I think that's the best opportunity to, to continue to grow the tent for the Republican Party. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you today. Great. Um, yeah.